When I think about the future of technology, what excites me the most is the potential for tech for good. The concept that technology can drive significant positive changes in society. I went to a coding club when I was seven. I've always loved making stuff. It gives me a chance to be creative and resourceful. The things that I've made and the projects that I've worked on have given me opportunities to experiment, invent, discover, share, network, collaborate, challenge myself and grow. I founded Girls Into Coding because I want to share my passion and make it easier for kids like me. We help underrepresented girls become aware of a world of possibilities open to them in STEM. And it's not just fun, skills in coding, robotics, engineering are some of the most employable, but are seen as less accessible to young women, especially those from disadvantaged backgrounds. By harnessing the power of technology for good, we can build a more inclusive, equitable and sustainable future. Like Avi, at a young age, I was also fascinated by the possibilities of technology. And the rapid advancement in artificial intelligence has made it even more exciting. And I founded my AI company, Unitary, to take advantage of this progress to try and help make the internet a safer place. AI isn't just a tool, but has the potential to solve highly complex problems that we previously thought were impossible. If we get this right, everyone stands to benefit from the advancements in AI. There are so many possibilities ahead for us now. Innovations in smart grid technology and renewable energy sources, such as solar and wind power, are crucial in the fight against climate change. The rapid development of telemedicine will make it possible for people who are sick to see a doctor or nurse from the comfort of their homes. This is particularly beneficial to those with, um, in remote areas or with mobility issues. By integrating technology into education, from coding to AI, we prepare the next generation for a future where these skills are increasingly important. And technology can be used to bridge social divides and to promote inclusivity. Assistive technologies can help individuals with disabilities and digital platforms can connect communities to provide support networks. My way of contributing to our future is Girls Into Coding. I want to see more opportunities for more of us to embrace technology so we can all get ahead. By prioritising investment in AI research, infrastructure and education, we can ensure that our nation remains at the forefront of innovation. As Avi has set out, AI has the power to solve pressing issues such as healthcare disparities, climate change and economic inequality. The way we engage with, with it today will shape the trajectory of our society for generations to come. It could replace the worst jobs that humans are subjected to and give those same people, everyone, the chance to take charge of their futures with personalised healthcare, education and a whole range of public services. AI is going to enable us to do more with less. We can achieve greater results with fewer resources. Getting AI right is an imperative for us all. My message to decision makers gathered here is this. Embrace AI and technology as the cornerstone of your policy agenda, for they are the keys to unlocking unprecedented economic growth, societal well-being and global leadership. Do that and just imagine where our future could be. <laughs>